Hold on. I'm not. Did you disable launch control? Yes, I'm not showing you how to do launch control. Makes sense. You got lease numbers on the sh on the what the Yushi run? Yeah, there's lease numbers. Bugatti has a lease program. Hey everybody, Brooks of Drag Times here. Welcome to the channel. Today is going to be an awesome day. I'm heading up to Bugatti Broward to check out the all new Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. It is the track version of the Chiron Sport, which they also have there as well. They've been trying to get me to that car for a long time. But nevertheless, I'm gonna head up to Bugatti Broward to see this car, which many people have never seen before. And if you like things you've never seen before, you gotta check out Surfshark VPN. I don't know about you, but I'm spending a lot of time at home lately, and I'm actually running out of stuff to watch with Surfshark VPN. You can change your browsing location to a different country and open up a huge library of new shows. Netflix actually has 15 different content libraries depending on where you're located in the world. You can even save money by shopping online from a different country because some online e-commerce shops will give you discounts depending on where you're browsing from. And that's just the beginning of what Surfshark VPN can do for you. It's got clean web, prevents phishing attacks, malware, blocks ads at the network level. You don't have to install extensions for Safari, Firefox, and all these different browsers. All your data is encrypted end to end, so you don't have to worry about password sniffing and all that kind of stuff. This is especially useful when you're connecting to unknown networks, especially those public Wi-Fi networks. And of course, while you're connected, Surfshark doesn't track anything that you're doing. There are no logs or anything going on when you're browsing the internet. All you need is one subscription for all your devices. If you wanna save 83% off, get three months free, along with a money back guarantee, follow the link on screen and down in the description to get started. With Abe from Lamborghini. Not Bugatti, Bugatti Broward. Bugatti Broward, sorry. Yeah. Today it's Bugatti Broward. Because we're here checking out the Bugatti Chiron Pure Chiron Sport. Pure Sport. That's the right. The track version of the Chiron. The Chiron. That's right. Okay. Yep. So tell me about what so, this thing's about. Does it drive it? We cannot drive no this test car. drive? Why can't it's we drive it? It's a static car. Because static Bugatti car? said so. <laughs> electric that? Chiron. Okay. Well, it's let's just electric. check this thing out. It is pretty wicked, actually. So the track version of the Chiron. Definitely more aggressive. Now, don't forget, we got the regular Chiron over here. This one is for well, sale. Well, that's the Chiron Sport. Chiron Sport. The Chiron Sport's a little different than the regular Chiron. Okay. The suspension, the rims are different. Yeah. And then if you go to the back, the exhaust is different too. So the handling is a little bit different on the Chiron Sport. So it has the four tailpipes, yes. which in a regular Chiron, which you've actually been test drove, test drove yes. was actually only two. Oh, you're right. That's right. So this one actually has Skyview, which was an option only introduced in 2019. How much is that option? $62,000. $62,000 to have a glass roof. That's not bad, right? It's not bad. Wow, this thing's nuts. Can we take this for a drive? I actually have the key in my pocket. Should I start it up? We could trade. Someone snuck me the key. <laughs> we could. Listen. I mean, you have right? enough cars to trade in for this. I could do it. I could do it. This is a spare key, by the way. Is it a spare yeah, key? Where's that, the real key? This the looks... real key I'm not giving you because then you're what, gonna take the this car. This is the top speed key? No, the top speed key is actually in the car already. You left the top speed key in yeah, the car? absolutely. Really? Just in case. Where? So look, the top seat speed key, if you want to film over here, is yeah. this. So it looks sleek. Most people don't know what it oh. is. And then it pops right out. There it is, the top you, speed key. Then there you go, and then you turn like it there. Okay. So that allows you to go from 235 miles an hour to 262 miles an hour. We need that. 62. All right, so we're gonna, drop, we're gonna drop the top speed key in. And because I have... I have the key in my pocket. <laughs> Do you want me to film the exhaust in the back so you can hear hold the on, sound? Hold on, hold on. You ready? Woo! Hold on. That is insane. 1,500 horsepower. Just in case you forget. Awesome. So what's this got behind here? So, same. It's the same, but I okay. just wanted to show you how neat all these new. So now you can actually add all these pretty. Look, look how, look at the carbon on there. Look at yeah. the design. It's carbon unreal. fiber rear engine covers. I can't imagine that's very cheap, right? No. Uh, what is no. the price of this car altogether? About four million dollars. Four million dollars, and that one's for sale for three and a half. Yes. 
Four million, three and a half. I really like the color. So Chiron Pure Sport. Sport. This thing's pretty nuts. Let's get inside it, but first. So let's do a little bit outside. because So there's a couple neat things, which I don't know if you noticed right off the bat, okay. but they're pretty neat. So, you know, before you can only do two, either either full carbon in the front, okay. exposed carbon, or the whole car full carbon, but you, had a, you only had a section A and a section B, right? You had this section okay. and then this section. Right. Remember, and then it splits by the C. Right. By the C shape, which is Chiron's yes. signature C shape. Right. So now they're getting creative with the carbon where you can actually, and touch that, that is perfect. There's yes. not a, it's perfectly. Imagine this whole piece is carbon anyways. It's and like the whole that part car exposed. is carbon, but whole, just right. to have exposed carbon, it's a lot more complicated. But look how neat it is. Look at the design on the roof. Yeah, it's phenomenal. But the stripe actually goes right down in the middle too. Right up well, the back inside the seat, too. And even inside the car, it goes to the roof. Everything about the design is aerodynamic for the right. car. It serves a purpose too. Look at the fender vents right here. This is not, no fender vents. Fender vents, gotta have that. Wow, what a car. You see even how they split the carbon yeah. in here and it just looks so mean, you know? And these wheels actually have the carbon inlays and then they're forged aluminum on the outside, but they actually serve a purpose because it actually draws out the hot air from the brakes. Right. So it helps you cool down your brakes a little by actually letting the hot air out. Yeah. So. Wow. They're really nice looking. Yeah, those wheels look I, great. I saw them. Wait, let's check out the I wing. Mean, look at the, the size of this wing. And the it's back. a fixed it's wing. Nuts. But look at the design. I mean, Bugatti's just like yeah, top is, notch, best in the world. Look this at this. This is unbelievable. Look at, look at how it's perfectly, perfectly just Perfectly in there. smooth. And then look how a lot of extra the, arrow. The wow, the diffuser is a huge, the huge difference too. A huge difference. Oh yeah. And look at the even the little winglets on the bottom. I mean, and so, it all serves an aerodynamic purpose. So Abe, how many of these are they making? Uh, I think we'll they'll end up selling about seventy to eighty in the world. Seventy to eighty in the world. And then only about. And a, you can pick any color scheme you want. Oh, Bugatti's Just amazing at design. You, want, right? you could design anything you want. Check out the inside of this thing. Pure sport, all carbon, carbon fiber seats in the back let's yeah. just flip up right here so, but this is new so if you if you focus here on this this is all this perforated area is all oh, new really and then cool. if you film on the other side you can see it better but it goes all the way around the sea yep. yep. which i think is is really really a good touch and then everything is layered so if you kind of zoom out through here you see how even the carbon here is like three different pieces oh yeah I mean, look at they, that they did an amazing job with that a little speaker there yeah what kind of sound systems did it have in there it's it's actually a company they actually crush uh one carat diamond and put it in the in, in the, the sound system yeah really? because for clarity and they wow. work with a company that's uh it's called it's called Accuton. Uh, -huh. uh they're based out of germany but they're known for using sapphires and diamonds and different crystals to have actual clarity to the sound gotcha so the bugatti doesn't really cut corners in anything they do yeah this thing's phenomenal they even look right here how uh, the carbon comes down this Pretty incredible skirt down there in the bottom. You can see the vents coming out from the wheel well down here. Now let's hop in and check it out. All right, so now we're inside the Chiron Pure Sport. This kind of reminds me of, I'm gonna be honest with you, Lamborghini's Performante, Performante laser, what do they call that? Laser yeah. etch stitching or something like yeah, that? that? And then you can get as creative as you want. Obviously this tone was more of a race car. Right. So they did, you know, the the carbon everywhere, an Alcantara steering wheel. Right. You know, all the Alcantara on the inside. Did you get the the C? Yeah, you I can saw actually, that from the inside. And at yeah. night, it's really neat because the light illuminates, and it's okay. a really cool feel. And by the way, this is what a real key looks like on oh, a Bugatti. There you go. Look at that. So I showed you the spare key, but a real key is designed to the spec of your car. Wow. So it's a one of one key for your car. Spare, no expense. Look at this key. Wow, what a car. Now, because this is just a static demo, luckily we got the real real working car over there. Yeah. Why don't we sit in the Chiron, just kind of go over some of the interior bits of that one. Yeah, yeah? No, okay, cool. Neat. Hold on, hold on. Outside we got a couple of Evos. There's my Evo next to the GT Celebration. GT Celebration. What do you think? Should I trade red for I don't know, what is that, the University of Miami edition, no. Evo? What is this? You don't follow GT3 racing? I do. Lamborghini's won three years in a row. I think you've yeah. been to Daytona with me to watch the races. That's true, I this did. This actual car, the real race car version, won. All right, so now we're in the Bugatti Chiron, the real one that they have Sport. here. Chiron Sport with Skyview. That's right. $60,000. is 62. The lighting's terrible in here. Can we, can we move it just like a foot?
tap it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just move it up. Oh, there we go. So let's put it in drive. We're in drive. Oh. <laughs> There we go. All right. Now, officially, I have driven a Chiron Sport. Sport. Stop I can say I sport. drove a Chiron Sport. I only moved it three feet, but I still got to drive it. What does this button do right here? This, launch control. This looks like my favorite button <laughs> right here. So How if you press is that? launch control, it didn't do anything. Well, no. What do you? Uh, I'm not telling you what you have to do. You don't have to tell me what you Because have to do. I feel like we'll end up through the window. I'm pretty sure you have to put it in drive and then press launch. You. That didn't work. Yeah, over here, Autobahn mode. I'm not telling you how to do it. You're not Coach, telling me how to do it. Because oh. you're dangerous. There we go, oh. handling mode, sport, driving control reduced. Right. That's so probably that's, not that's good. like your traction. That's traction control, okay. Press it again. I'm Did not, you disable launch control? Yes, I'm not <laughs> showing you how to do launch control in the showroom. But but all the viewers want to see. Comment below. Do you want to see launch control in the Chiron Sport? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what kind Come of feedback on. we get. All right. How are we gonna do launch control in the showroom? All right, we, we won't do it in the showroom. Okay, yoke. I think you would call that. Yeah. So as you can see, all the buttons here that were not working over there, we can actually view. You got the climate control, AC, and auto. You can hold them down. And then Ooh, if you hold it down, it shows you your miles per hour. Right. That is really cool. So all the little screens, that's the power. Yeah. That's how much power you're making right yeah. there. You can see and that, the PS. Let's say you were drag times and you were drag racing. Yes. It'll show you your highest speed. Okay, I like that. Um, which is pretty neat. And, and then it shows you. That's the, uh, that's the RPMs. Yep. And then we got the gears over there. <laughs> and then all these different modes. You know the modes here? All the way to the right is the flag racing mode. This is the Autobahn mode. This is the... EB mode, which is like e your standard EV mode. EV mode. And then that's your lifting system. Oh, that's how you lift the front lift up. That's pretty easy right there. I like that. You can feel it moving. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Leo? I love it. You want me to buy this car, don't you? Let's take it out tonight. For we should. Drive. I think that's fair. If you want me to buy it, we got to take it out. A quarter mile at a time? A quarter mile at a time. <laughs> God, that sounds so mean. 1,500 <laughs> horsepower. Oh, 16 cylinder. Name me another car that's on the market right now that's 16 cylinders. There's nothing like this. Amazing. Look at the inside of this car. Just super, super. You do launch control. This yeah. is what the Skyview is for. You do the launch control, your head ends up like this. and then you Zero to 60 <laughs> is like two <laughs> and a half seconds in this car. Yep. You know, we ran the quarter mile in the non-sport. Went 99 to like 150. Yeah. It was fun just to get a kind of, say I actually drove a Chiron, even though it was only for three feet. I'm good with that. But you drove a Chiron Sport. But I did drive a Chiron Sport. <laughs> yeah, so let's give that a last look and then uh, let me know in the comments. Is this the car for me? Chiron, pure sport, sport, whatever. I think I got to sell everything and then some to pick up one of these. But uh, maybe someday. Got to keep working hard, right? I think it's sooner than later. You think it's sooner than later? I think so. Yeah. I need a lot more subscribers to get to this level. I can't uh, I can't buy the Bugattis like the Stradman, sorry. The Stradman, he got his new Veyron. Oh yeah, that thing's nice. He says we're gonna race. Yo, Abe, hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on, Brooks? Not much, heading to the gym. What's going on? Why don't you come by? Yeah? Why don't you, uh, you know, we were kind of talking earlier about trading in the Ferrari for the Bugatti. Why don't we, uh, why don't you just come by and we'll take a final look at some numbers. <laughs> see if it makes sense. You got lease numbers on the, sh on the what, the u Chiron? Yeah, there's lease numbers. Bugatti has a lease program. It Even on a pre-owned Chiron Sport, by the way. You always forget the Sport. I always forget the Sport. <laughs> <laughs> come by, who knows? Like, maybe it makes sense. Maybe you just get it, Brooks. I mean, you've never had a Bugatti and be pretty neat to add to your collection. It's gonna be expensive. All right. Just, All right. Just I'll, I'll bring the Ferrari by. Let me let me grab the title real quick, just in case. All right. Just I'll... in case, grab the title. Grab your second key. Make all sure right. the books are in the car. Yeah. I'm gonna pay you all the money for that car. All the and money. Then, uh, all the money. It's it's a uh, it's a famous car. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and then uh, and we'll see. Maybe you'll use that money as a down payment on the Bugatti. All right. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, All right later. Bye. Abe really wants to move that used Chiron, so he's trying to work out some lease numbers. I I've never even 
I don't lease most of any of my cars really, but I mean, I used to, but you know, my lease payments were like, you know, maybe a thousand bucks a month or something like that. So I can't imagine what a Chiron would cost per month the lease, but I don't know. Let's see if uh, it makes sense. Let's head up and start up the Ferrari. This could be the last drive in the Ferrari. I don't know. I really like this car. I'm here. We doing this? What's up? <laughs> All right, Abe. What's going on? All right. All right. Here's the car. Wow. I mean, you didn't even let me do launch control last time. I know. If I lease it, do I get to do launch control? Yeah, absolutely. Once it's in your possession, you can launch control. Whatever. Whatever All right. Let's work out the numbers. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah. I put it. In, you know, it's here protected for you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. I didn't put a sold so, sign in it yet. So though. 1,250 miles a year old. 1,235 miles. 1,235 miles a year old. Uh, yeah. How much warranty is left? There's still two full years. Two full years of warranty. Service included? Yes. Include service? Yes. Really? For the next two years. Absolutely. So no $100,000 one a year no, service? No, 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 really? no. Really? Those days and are over? Those days are over and tire changes aren't wow. $40,000 anymore. Yeah, it's got regular tires it's on got, it. It's yeah, cup, you know, got cup twos. I mean, they're specially made for Bugatti, but Okay. All right, drop in the comments. What do you think the lease payment's going to be on the Chiron? I'm going to trade. Well, so I'm trading in my Ferrari that I just got. Yep. So I own the Ferrari outright. So you got to give me good money for that. Yeah. Okay. Come on, bro. So here we are working out the lease numbers uh, for the used Chiron. It's got 1,235 miles. And you're basically offering me 350000 for my brand new Ferrari. Right. So that's not bad. I'd say 10000 over MSRP. <laughs> for buying the Chiron. Uh, that car's paid in full, so I have the title of that. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at so what 24 and 36 months. Yeah, so I showed you two lease numbers here. Okay. Right, so the selling price is 3.33 on the Bugatti. So 3.3 million, what was the sticker on that car? Uh, 3.5. So 3.5 million was the original sticker. I'm getting 200,000 off yeah. being a year old. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you have a trade allowance of 350,000. 350, uh, <laughs> so tax credits doesn't matter. We got 24 months, 2,500 miles a year. Money factors 0 0.002. That's not bad. That's about 5%. So all the, this is for real guys. The numbers are all there, you yeah. know, for leasing this car. Um, so you're going to pay after tax and everything 24 months with just your trade. Yeah. Nothing else. You're going to be at about sixty-five thousand a month. Sixty-five thousand dollars a month um, for thirty-six months, about fifty-two thousand. Fifty-two thousand. All right, so there you go. Twenty-four months is sixty-nine, nine fifty, and fifty-two thousand a month. Sixty-five, nine fifty. Sorry, sixty-five, nine. What did I say? Sixty-nine. Oh, That's yeah. four thousand dollars. That's a four thousand dollar difference. That's yeah. big time. So there is four thousand dollars a month just in tax on the lease payment for this. I'm yeah. looking at the screen over here. Yeah. Annual fees, total sales tax amount to its signing, which is the which is the Ferrari. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. $65,000 a month for 24 months. 20 2500 miles a year. How much per mile is that? I don't even know how to do that calculation. <laughs> you have to add in the car that I gave you too. So how much money I gave you. What is the total cost of the lease for the two years of the, of the Chiron? That's what I'm curious about. Like, what does it actually cost me? 1.56 million? Plus. So that's the 65,000 times 24 plus my right, down payment? Right. Plus the 350. 1.9 million. million. Right. Just but to you, lease it. Yeah, but you could always pay it off at the end of the lease if you wanted to keep it. Because the residual value is high. Is high. Wow. So, so yeah, no, you. <laughs> $65,000 a month. That's, I've never heard of anything like that. That's crazy. Yeah. You think I can make that on YouTube? Like racing this car against people? $65,000 a month? I don't think I can make it. All right, so there you go. The numbers are $65,000 a month for 24 months or $52,000 a month for 36 months. So the cost per mile I did the calculation on the 24th month lease, it's just $257 a mile. That's really not that bad not for a share when you think about it in that terms, because that's four quarter miles. Yeah. <laughs> One dinner for drag times. So. Well, so so can I just like, I mean, for a thousand bucks, do I get four miles just to take it out? 
That's what I'm going to start charging for yeah. test drives. Oh. Thousand I would, yeah, I would, four honestly, miles. I would give you a thousand dollars for four miles. <laughs> That's eight runs down the quarter mile. I think I can get that return back <laughs> on the videos. But uh, actually, it's not that bad when you think about it. Two hundred fifty dollars a mile for that kind of car. Right. But in the big picture, twenty five hundred miles, sixty five thousand dollars a month. It's it's quite a it's quite a big monthly payment. You know, and you can also finance or lease, and then yeah, just depends. Yeah. I mean. Really, you're putting three hundred fifty thousand dollars down on a three point three million dollar car. Ten percent. That's not bad. Ten eleven percent. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I lose the Ferrari F8 altogether in cash, so it's 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 definitely a tough decision. I'm gonna think about it. You know, uh, and uh, maybe uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. That's a big payment. Just do it. Just do it. Just what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. My Ferrari plus sixty five five thousand dollars a month for 24 months for a used Bugatti Chiron. Now you said service is included, so that's kind of a big thing. Yeah, you won't, I like have, that. To, you won't have to pay for service. No 100,000. No additional no additional costs to the car will have. Right. It's already yeah. clear wrapped. You don't have to expel it. You don't have oh, to it's already it. got expelled. Yeah, oh. you don't have to do anything wow, to well, it. Oh, there we go, we're all set. It's an actual 65,000 a month. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there you go. Let me know in the comments below, $65,000 a month lease for the Chiron. Is it worth it? Plus trading on the Ferrari. I'm going to think about it. I appreciate it. As always, Abe, thanks, thanks for uh, running the numbers for me. Appreciate it. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. we got a lot of races coming. Thanks.